So next we're going to look at um, multiplication of matrices. That's when you're multiplying a matrix by another matrix. Guys, two matrices are compatible for multiplication when the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. In other words, you can't just multiply any two matrices together. In order for you to multiply two matrices, the two matrices must first be compatible for multiplication. Now, in order for two matrices to be compatible for multiplication, the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. All right. So there are some corrections we probably need to make here, but when we get down to it. All right, so here we're multiplying the matrix A. The matrix A is a three by two matrix. It has three rows, row one, row two, and row three. The rows are horizontal and two columns, C1 and C2. So it has three rows and two columns. The next one has what? Um, two rows, row one, row two, and it has three columns, C1, C2, C3. And there's where the correction comes in. It should have been three. It's a two by three matrix. And so this should be three by three. All right, so that's where the correction comes in. Now, guys, in order for two matrices to become to be compatible for multiplication, the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So A has three rows and two columns, row, column. B has, um, B has two rows and three columns, row, column. Now, these two matrices are compatible because the number of columns in the first matrix, which is two, is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, which is also two. So two matrices are compatible for multiplication when the number of columns in the first matrix um, is the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. Guys, the, the, the order of the matrix product. So if I multiply A by B, I'm going to get AB. The order of matrix AB is going to be what? The number of rows in, in A by the, number of row, by the number of columns in B. So the number of rows in the first matrix by the number of columns in the second matrix is the order of the matrix product. All right, you'll get a chance to see that in action. So here it is. Now, when multiplying two compatible matrices, the num sorry, the number of rows in the first matrix by the number of columns in the second matrix is the order of the resulting matrix. For example, the order of the matrix product AB when multiplied, sorry, AB when matrix A is a two by two matrix and matrix B is a two by three matrix is the order of the matrix product AB is two by three. Two is the number of rows in the what? First matrix and three is the number of columns in the second matrix. Guys, when multiplying matrices, we multiply the rows of the first matrix by the columns in the second matrix. When multiplying two, when multiplying matrices, we multiply the rows of the first matrix by the columns in the second matrix. Now, each time we multiply a row by a column, we get an element in the product. For example, multiplying the top row in the first matrix by the left column in the second matrix will give the top left element in the product. Guys, 
to multiply a row by a column, we multiply the first element in the row by the first element in the column plus the second element in the row by the second element in the column, etc. And you'll get a chance to see this in action.